Once upon a time, it all started with the idea of not having company. Was it scary? Yes. Did it get better? Yes. Do I still enjoy it now? Absolutely. Hi guys and welcome to Bangkok, Thailand. Oh my gosh guys, I am in Thailand. I can't believe this. After two years of not having traveled internationally and solo, I'm here. It's happening. So this was back in February 2022 and honestly, I was so happy to be traveling after such a long time that I booked myself a direct flight to Bangkok immediately as soon as the country opened up. There were a bunch of procedures and protocols in place. Somehow that felt really exciting. Like how do I navigate through all these procedures and protocols and then still make it to this country? Collected my luggage just now and I'm headed to my hotel. Right off the bat, you know what have I noticed? This airport is extremely organized. Look at all these trolleys which are just lined next to the conveyor belt just for the ease of access of people. So this is what the ATM looks like. Here currency is called Thai Baht and is ATM pay sab kuch Thai language mein likha hai. So can I tell you what's the best part of being solo? It's that you don't have to go anywhere. Like right now, I landed at the airport. It took some time for me to get through the visa on arrival wala counter. But literally, I've been doing it at my own pace comfortably so that I don't mess up anything. And I'm in literally no hurry because today is just my buffer day. And now, because I've withdrawn cash, I need to also get a SIM card. I'm here for 14 days. Oh. Yes. Okay, so this is unlimited, right? You can talk here? Yeah. And the phone number is one here. Alright, thank you so much. So, I've got myself this SIM card. It's called the DTAC Happy Tourist SIM card. And I have an additional phone, hai, secondary phone. I am going to SIM card wali hun because this is a dual SIM phone. I have my current phone. I have no dual SIM, nahi hai, so I will India ka SIM in India. I can accept my incoming. So if I get any messages from India, any uh, you know, bank messages, any OTPs, I can still access them. But now I have to add a new SIM in this phone. And we will be ready and all set to make calls and use data in Thailand. I've come out of the exit gate and there are a lot of people waiting over here to pick you up. I have to figure out which hotel is here to pick me up because I took a lot of time inside. So, this is going to be a task. Okay, yeah. I'm staying with the quarter. Hua Long. Hua Long Po. Hello. Now we have to wait for a little bit here. So, after waiting for a while, about half an hour or so, Hey, cab hai. So now I'm finally headed out. We are in Thailand! Hello, what's your name? Uh, Thalang Sa. Thalang Sa. Nickname Mai. Mai? Mai. Okay, Mai. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Okay. So like I mentioned, there were quite a few procedures in place and one of them was getting tested before even reaching the hotel. Yes, sort of inconvenient, but uh, thankfully this rule does not apply anymore and they did their best to ensure safety of all travellers. So I've reached the hotel. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Hello. Hi. Hi. Bye bye. Welcome to Thailand. Finally here guys, it has taken an enormous time amount of time because there was time in the airport, then baggage collection was time in the baggage collection. It was time to reach the hotel and then even the check-in process was really lengthy. But in short, this is what my room looks like. It has a nice attached bathroom and a very nice and simple room. Twin beds in it. AC is put in, chai pani. And I have talked to the reception in English and asked me if I can get something to eat. They have everything available to me and they gave me. I honestly don't even know what this is but I'm going to eat it anyway because it's so I'm super hungry and I'm craving coffee but I don't think I'll get coffee right now. Smells good. I think this might be chicken. Mmm. 
गाइस दिस इज सीरियसली यमी वेरी वेरी यम गाइस कैन यू बिलीव दिस मुझे इतना अच्छा खाना खाने के बाद और ज्यादा भूख लग रही है सो देयर इज एन ऐप कॉल्ड ग्रैब इन थाईलैंड व्हिच यू एब्सोल्युटली नीड फॉर ऑर्डरिंग फूड और ट्रांसपोर्टेशन आई रियली वांट टू हैव सम कॉफी दिस प्लेस हैज टिम हॉर्टन्स और ये 30 मिनट में डिलीवर कर देगा आई हैव हर्ड अ लॉट अबाउट टिम हॉर्टन्स सो आई थिंक आई वुड रियली वांट टू ट्राई सम टिम हॉर्टन्स कॉफी आल्सो आई रियलाइज कि मेरे रूम से व्यू बहुत ज्यादा अच्छा है इट हैज सो मेनी नाइस टावरिंग बिल्डिंग्स एंड अ कनाल राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी लुक्स लाइक अ वेरी नाइस प्लेस actually i am tempted to stay in bangkok for a little longer the roads here are surprisingly very very organized maine jahan tak abhi tak ka traffic dekha hai bahut hi neat and organized tha everybody was driving in their own lane only thank you our coffee is here ice pack very nice very nice and then we have the americano so do you know what am i doing right now main apni iced americano pe rahi hu plus side by side on my phone i'm also watching a youtube video about thailand and i hope someday after watching my video you also come here order in yourself some coffee or chai or whatever it is that you like having and then watch my video to plan your next few days and the cycle shall continue guys it's evening time now and maine fir se dinner mangaya hai i took a little nap i was really really tired after the journey and maine bhi khana order kiya hai which is come to the lobby sorry my lens is totally fogging up right now because i was inside air conditioning तो so, अभी जो मेरे ऑर्डर लेके आया है ना जो पर्सन आया उसको इंग्लिश नहीं आती थी और मुझे ऑब्वियसली थाई भाषा नहीं आती तो जब उसने मुझे कॉल किया बोलने के लिए कि मैं ऑर्डर लेके आया हूँ मुझे बस उसके बोलने में एक ही शब्द समझ में आया विच वॉज लॉबी एंड मैंने जब उसे पूछा हाँ मैं टू आई हो तो उसने फोन पे दिखाया कि वन वन नाइन बात तो दैट्स हाउ आई गॉट माई ऑर्डर वाह क्या खुशबू आ रही है खाने में से वाह This is my second day in Thailand. आज मेरा PCR test टेस्ट नेगेटिव आ चुका है सो आई एम गोइंग टू बी स्टेपिंग आउट नाउ बट आई जस्ट गोट अ सीक्रेट डिलीवरी फ्रॉम आई डोट नो होम मे बी द होटल स्टाफ बिकॉज इट कुड बी दार्ट ऑफ माई पैकेज दट आई हैड फूड ऑर्डर इंक्लूसिव ऑफ द पैकेज बट आई डिड नॉट गेट इट येस्ट डे सो नाउ दे सेंट मी अ बंच ऑफ फूड कप केक लाइक द होली बेजल some fruits which is making me really happy because that means i don't have to spend on food today so that's great although i think technically i did pay for the food myself very excited about exploring bangkok today but also a little nervous because that's what happens when you're traveling solo no matter how many times you travel solo fir bhi kahin na kahin aapko hamesha dil mein dar leh rehta hai ki ab kya hoga ab kya karna hai how do i plan it is my plan even right so many thoughts but you know what they're all going to dissolve once i step out mm so good very interesting fruit this is Right, so we are out and about in Thailand, in Bangkok. It's looking really nice and vibrant. So the area that I'm in right now, this is like the Chinatown area. So हम लोग यहाँ से Chinatown की street markets में भी जा सकते हैं. But अभी because uh, it's morning time, I was just craving some coffee. यहाँ पे दो coffee stores हैं. एक तो यहाँ पे Starbucks coffee का store है. And across the street there's also a cafe. So I'm thinking, where should I head? Should I just go to something safe or should I go to a local cafe? I think the answer is going to be a local cafe. had my coffee and i feel like this cafe was a great choice because it was honestly really nice and the vibe was very good uh, all the locals all the tourists here seemed really nice and it clearly looks like a favorite of all the people in this area so yeah if you're also coming to thailand or bangkok and staying in the same hotel as i am ya fir if you're in this area definitely try out this uh, cafe called pompano abhi main yahan se jaane wali hu ek aur cafe mein which is called true love cafe which is very famous for one thing and one thing alone wahan ja ke batati hu what that is Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Ah, uh, Som. Som is uh, helping me right now figure uh, out directions. Of course, and this is uh, now open, no? Uh? To the river. Ah, right? then you take a boat and the sightseeing along the river. 400 baht. Nice, too long, no? Uh? It's not. It's not. It's 17 minutes. Impossible, no? 17 minutes. But it's Google. It's and this is the new motorway. How oh. much do you charge per kilometer? 300 baht. Per? No, you say 300. Okay. Two, no? 200. No. Oh. 200 baht. Where are you from? I'm from India. No, 
Okay, all right. Bye bye. bye Thank bye. you. So, guys, I've reached my next destination, which is the True Love Cafe. And here I have Cafe with me. Hi, how are you? Hi, yeah. For so covering on your shoes. Covering on the shoes. Yeah, okay. before you get inside. Hi. Hi. True Love Cafe is a place in Bangkok which you can visit if you love dogs. And over here, for an entry ticket of 350 baht, you get to play for one hour with these huskies and other really adorable dogs. And I came to know about this place because Ishan has already been here previously. And I also wanted to check it out for myself and one thing that I noticed was that these dogs are extremely happy and taken good care of by the staff and also the owner of this place. Looks like they really like the mic of this camera. Hello, it's Jackie. Jackie is my favorite. And the cutest part about being here is that these dogs all have distinct personalities and names and you can actually get to even know them. Japanese Akitas. So everybody, I have with me the owner of uh, True Love Cafe. Hi, what's your name? My name is Choti. Choti, okay. I started with only one husky okay. as a pet. All right. Uh, back in, let's say, 20 years ago. So she basically told me that she started this place when she realized that looking at her dog while eating a meal gave her so much joy and that will probably translate into joy for other people as well. So cafe here is just helping me with a, a grab option for the next location that I'm supposed to go to. Hope you have fun, okay? Thank okay. you. I will disturb you if I need more advice. Yeah, let me know. All right. Thank you so much. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Here we go. Do you know where is Spectrum? Oh, next block? Next block. Okay, okay. Thank you. Is this side or other side? No, okay. So after uh, Husky Cafe, I'm going to another place and I'm going to go to the Sky Lounge ba jane wali for the sunset. Although I think I'm already late for the sunset. So I had to take a grab bike here to get here because I also wanted to experience it. And now I'm going where I'm going, it's called Spectrum Sky Lounge. Amongst other things, Bangkok is pretty well known for its sky bars and this was just such a perfect end of my second day of touring Bangkok. And I'll tell you this, if you ever find yourself in a big city all by yourself, solo. Start with the smallest of things, a cup of coffee, a meal by yourself or a place that will make you feel extremely happy. And with this, we start off with our adventures of being solo in Thailand. So this is Spectrum Sky Bar and Lounge and I'm really enjoying the view from over here. The sunset was just amazing and the night view is also really really nice. I think it's really a good idea to come to a sky lounge in Bangkok if you're visiting. I'm just going to enjoy my wine and my meal for now and then head back. I 
वहाँ पे बहुत अच्छा अच्छा खाना मिलता है तो फ्राइड पोक इज रियली रियली नाइस एंड दिस वॉट वी आर टेकिंग इज दी अंडरग्राउंड ट्रेन कम था यहाँ लेट्स डू दिस